Hi guys, so today I'm going to be talking about how to take an NMR in Chem 432 lab. I'm first going to start off with taking an NMR tube and carefully taking the cap off of the NMR tube and placing it into a sample holder. I will do this before I start to add my sample into the tube. So this is my product for my caffeine chlorination lab. I will now take the spatula and start to carefully scrape product from the round bottom flask and onto my spatula. Once I have done this, I will take the spatula containing my product and start to carefully funnel it into the NMR tube. It's okay if you spill some out, but try to get most of it in the tube. And you only need enough product to cover about the bottom of the NMR tube. I will be using deuterated chloroform as a solvent in my NMR tube, and this will be used to dissolve my sample. I will now be taking this glass pipette, and I will also be taking a bulb and placing it on top of the glass pipette. I will be using this to draw up my chloroform solvent and add it into my NMR tube containing my sample. I will now be taking my glass pipette and I will use this to carefully draw up some of my deuterated chloroform solvent. After I have done this, I will now start to carefully take my NMR tube out of the sample holder. After I have done this, I will now add in my solvent into my NMR tube containing my sample. I will now be placing my cap back on my NMR tube. Just a tip, you need to add about three fingers width worth of solvent into your NMR tube. I am now prepared to take my NMR. I will do this by first taking the NMR off of standby by clicking the standby button. As you can see, the color changed from blue to green, indicating the NMR is now ready. I have now proceeded to take my blank out of the NMR. I will now carefully place my sample into the NMR. I will now adjust my NMR settings. I will change the solvent from deuterated water to deuterated chloroform. Please make sure you have the correct solvent selected before you run your sample. I am now ready to run my sample. I will now press the go button on the NMR. As you can see, the green color changes to blue, indicating that the NMR is being taken. I will now wait for the NMR to finish processing before I see my spectra. My NMR is now done scanning and I'm ready to analyze my spectra. I will first adjust the baseline of my spectra by clicking process and then phase. I will then adjust these parameters to get a more clear and straight baseline. I will now proceed to integrate my peaks. I will do this by first clicking Analyze and then Integrate. I will then click the Add button. Afterwards, I will select my integral start and end position. I will now integrate this peak to three hydrogens by clicking Edit and then Set Reference. I will then click three. This is because the methyl groups in the caffeinated chlorine all have three hydrogens. I will now proceed to integrate the other peaks. I will click add once again and select my integral start and end position. The other peaks should also integrate to three because caffeinated chlorine has three methyl groups and each methyl group contains three hydrogens. The peak around 1.6 is water that's coming from my NMR solvent. The peak at 7.26 is my chloroform signal, and the little peak that I'm integrating is probably from my starting material, as my starting material contained an aromatic hydrogen. I will now prepare to print my spectra. I will do this by first clicking on the print icon. Afterwards, a window will pop up asking to name my sample. It does not matter what you name your sample, but just make sure you can identify it later. Make sure the correct printer is selected and then simply hit OK. This is what my spectra looks like after it has been printed out. Your spectra should have a similar format to this one. I am now done analyzing my spectra, so I will click Done. 
Afterwards, I will click no to saving my results since I've already printed them out. I will now proceed to take my NMR tube out of the NMR and place it back into the sample holder. Please make sure you are doing this carefully. I will now take my blank and proceed to carefully place it into the NMR. After I have done this, I will now click the standby button. After I have clicked the standby button, the color will change from green to blue, indicating that it is ready for the next person to use. Thank you guys for listening and feel free to email us with any questions.